We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke... Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, then useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he, he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was I? Well. I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suit then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Real sure thing. Well, guys, the Duke's memory. Uh, Artyom, the Colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Come on, 
Military Special Operations Force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy me? Over. Yes, yes. The aerial loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. At a moment. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is charge while I'm away. So, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. This is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait, look. Look.
Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! 
Calm down. We will get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough I'll tie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you beasts, myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Burn this car! To ashes! Long time since we don't Now we'll be full again! Good. D6. Even though lift is the same exactly. True. 
and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom.
Artyom, I knew. Behind you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone, just like the others. So just freeze. Yes, yes. Let just, him just go. Don't kill me. Now. Remember what I told you. There was an explosion. Enough chatter. <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Father, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know. We have to make the decision together. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the members of the structure is
Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And <coughs> if we gave access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then! <coughs>